I'm Michael Pinter of Pinter Instruments, and I want to talk about my SB1 Model R guitar. I'm here with John Mazenko, my old friend. We go way back, John and I. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter used to take lessons from you, guitar lessons. And now she has four kids of her own. Ready for lessons. Yeah, she was in high school then. I used to go around catching John's band playing at different clubs around town here in Los Angeles. And now you have your own music school. Yeah, we have joined the band now. Yeah, tell us a little about Join the Band. Join the Band, we started this about 18 years ago, and we, we teach music lessons here, mostly guitar, bass, drums, vocals, piano, saxophone. And uh, the unique part of our program is we put kids in bands, and we do performances every, every three months and put them in uh, live music venues throughout Los Angeles, and we have a great time here. John, you've had this prototype over the last couple of days. Can you give us your impressions and maybe make a little noise with it for us? Sure. Uh, one of the first things I noticed when I picked up the guitar was how, how balanced it is and how easy it is to hold when you're sitting down or standing up. It has, uh, you know, cut away in the back, hugs your body when you play, and it doesn't tip back and forth, which can be really annoying when you're trying to practice sitting down. Um, and acoustically, the guitar sounds, has a nice, nice ring to it. And then when you, you know, when you get it dialed in, we're using a Mesa Boogie amp today. Uh, it's a typical type of club amp that a lot of guitar players would use. It has a very, very nice feel to it. Nice action on the tremolo. Here's some typical rock power chord sounds. Bluesy tones, I like to use the, I like going in between the pickups for this. Get a little more open through the throat of your sound out of the guitar. Typical, you open uh, Of course, you got to have your rock songs in E. thing I liked about the sound too was you get if you're playing like a sus 9 chord or something like that with your power chord you can hear all the notes the pickups the pickups on the guitar really are clear and you can hear everything even though it has a nice overdrive sound the neck pickup on just a simple uh, jazz progression. So it's a nice round round tone to it using the neck position. You know if you're gonna do some other type of playing if you want to use the clean pickup uh, to get a little more snap. Kind of the same riff I was playing before in the blues, but a little more snappier sound with, without any overdrive on. The tremolo, the vibrato is very smooth on it. It has a nice, nice action on it.
So it's a very versatile sounding guitar. I really enjoy playing it. Thank you, John, and thanks for being with us today. Bye for now. <laughs>